Hi teachers, I'm going to go over how to copy to courses. So I'm going to go to one of my groups, which is for my music teachers, and this is where we are uploading our curriculum. You might have a group or a course where you're uploading curriculum. Either way is just fine. I'm going to select, let's do pre-K week one. Now I can come in here and I can select this one activity and I can click the gear icon and I can add to course. And I know that it is going to go in that course, which is just my sandbox for now, but eventually it could be pre-K because this is a pre-K one. You can even pick which folder. Ooh, I definitely want it in that folder. You can go ahead and set up due dates, ungraded category, or if you want it graded, you can select a rubric. You can do all of that from right here, and you can enable and disable submissions. Click Add, and it's as simple as that. It has now been added. Let's go out just a little bit, and let's say that there were several things in this folder. I can copy the whole week one folder add to course. Again, I'm going to add it here. And maybe I don't want it to go in this pre-K folder. Maybe I want it to go somewhere else, but I do want it to go in pre-K. So we're going to put it there, add, and it's been added. Simple as that. Let's go and look and see what it looks like added to my course. So I put both of them in my pre-K folder. Let's see if they showed up. Oh, this was the first assignment that I added. Here it is. It showed up in my pre-K folder under the other items that I had. And then this is the folder that I copied over. So now I can move these to go into this week one folder if I want. Um, so I'm just going to click it, hold down, and move it. Now be very careful when moving because do you see that big gray box? That's going to look like another folder this little gray box would look like the week one folder. So I even want to go over just a little bit more and now that will be inside the week one folder. Now there's two there because when I copied the week one folder this assignment was in the week one folder and this assignment I copied over separately. So that's why there's two there. Let's try doing it with this welcome to music video. So again, not the big gray box, not the middle gray box. I want the smaller gray box so that it's in week one. So let's go check out my pre-K folder. I see week one. Let's check out the week one folder. Oh, three activities. You know what? That's a duplicate. I don't want it there. So let's delete one of these. Simple as clicking on that gear icon and pressing delete. And now, you know what? That's weird. Welcome to music should be above. So we can move things around as well inside the folder. There you go. Simple. Um, since I have you here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about student completion. If I want to make sure that students come into the week one folder and they watch Welcome to Music before creative movement, you can do student completion rules and it must be in sequ sequential order. You can add requirements that they must view this item to move on to the next one. And then for this creative movement, I can say they can view, or if it's something like a assessment, I can say that they must um, submit something to move on to the next item. I can even say that they must get a certain grade before they can move on to the next item. So student completion rules, very important. And so now students will have to watch these in order, which is exactly what I want. Have fun copying to courses.